This is Abby from AB Tarot Reading, and I was just recently asked to share uh, with my fellow community my top five favorite tarot decks. And being a woman who has a collection that are over like 50 personal decks, maybe not 50 personal, I would say. I would definitely say I have over 600 decks in my house, um, but those are mostly for inventory. Um, I have gotten to know quite a few different sets of cards. So some stay in the, the personal collection, many come and many go, but I have a few that are less than 20 that I could say are, they're never going anywhere. I'm keeping them until I've outgrown them or until my life circumstances change that no longer require me to have them. Um, there are some like decks that I just will not ever get rid of. So I thought I would share using the premise of if my house was burning down, what cards would be the must come with me. Come hell or high water, they have to come, have to come, have to come. And so let me share with you briefly what those cards would be. So I have five decks in total, but well, excuse me, I have six decks in total, two of which are gonna be like honorable mention kind of in one kind of um, conjunction. So let's start with my, my absolute top of the list. So if I could only take one deck of cards with me to the end of the earth because I'm on a spaceship and we're leaving now, it would be the deck that was given to me by my mother when I was about 13. Um, this is my first ever Rider Week Smith yellow box, you know, edition, and it's the sentimental value of this that would keep me holding on to this card deck for dear life. If all of them had to go, this one would be the, the zenith. This would be the absolute one that I would keep above all else. And it's mainly because my mother gave it to me. And so it has that deep, deep emotional attachment. I still use these cards. I use it as part of my past life work because of the uh, more ancestral work, because of the family kind of like connection um, to me there. But yeah, this deck will always, always, always be part of the collection. Um, another set that I will show in a pair is these two. This is the Illuminated Earth Oracle and the Faceted Garden or Oracle, both created by Seattle artist Claire Mack. And I'm in love with the art and then the subtle messages of both cards. So that's why I have them both. And um, I love working with them both for different purposes. Um, I'm in, you know, I'm fascinated by this deep kind of um, modeled texture of, of artwork. And I'm not always a fan of collage art, but she does a very, very good job, um, a stunningly beautiful job when it comes to depicting the artwork and sharing and showing the messages um, that these cards have to offer. So I'm quite a fan of this art. And um, I know that she has these currently for sale, both of them for sale directly on her website. So shameless plug to her. Um, I hope she gets uh, some some residuals from this because it's a it's a wonderful it's a wonderful wonderful set of cards. I don't know where to put them now. <laughs> like where do I put them? <laughs> My desk has gotten so messy in trying to like plan this. Um, the second deck that I would go into a burning building to get um, would be the Bone, Stone, and Earth Flesh Tarot. And this is not the original bag that it came in, but um, I'm, I'm, I waited so long for this deck, and then I accidentally destroyed my desk to get it. And then I fought with people to maintain it and maintain my privilege uh, work with it. Um, and so there's a lot of like emotional work that went into this guy. And it's such a, a interesting, a dynamic, a, it's like a gentle, but direct, it's such a fairy tale story, but not, there's something so wonderfully unique about this set of cards that I just, I feel the need to keep above all else. So it has the uh, red edges on the, on the 
red edges on the edges of the card and so the gilded red edge um, I love the backing on this I love that it's reversible this deck I particularly don't read in reverse but I love the that I have the option to and has a pretty good thick cardstock so it makes it really useful for like hand to hand, hand over hand um, shuffling in that regard so yeah I definitely use this deck a lot when it comes to emotional work or um, looking at some aspects of myself that are less than comfortable. Um, this is one of the decks that I use for that. The, I guess we're at the fourth <laughs> set of cards. Or no, that was one, two, three. Yeah, this is number four. So the fourth deck that I would go into a burning building um, to get would be the Light Seers Tarot, but specifically this is the Kickstarter Indie um, Edition. This one has both um, Ten of Swords, and they were, there was a bit of a controversy with both of them, so I'm fortunate to have a deck that was created like right in that flux period where um, sh she was about to replace the card. So it has the original Ten of Swords that made everybody all, um, all up in arms, and then it has the, uh, the new Ten of Swords. I was hoping I could find it real quick. The new Ten of Swords that um, is a little bit more acceptable or palatable, I guess. And I actually have gone so far as to include um, both Ten of Swords. This is the old one and include both Ten of Swords in uh, my working and my reading with this particular deck, um, primarily because um, I feel like both Tens show a unique perspective of the Ten experience um, in, in Tarot. So I include them both, and it, it's been quite useful and shows me a nuanced version of that feeling, that emotion of the Ten of Swords. I also love the, the green edges here and the thicker cardstock, which again is great for the hand over hand shuffling method um, if anyone is specific to that. The guidebook is underneath it and it's such a nice guidebook um, to go along with this and I'm currently taking her branding class so I'm kind of a kind of a fan. I am a, like low-key but no clarify I'm not a big fan of her other decks um, except this one. This one I'm all over. <laughs> the Muse I was like meh and a few of the other ones are meh but this one I love. This one has my heart and I think it's also because I fought so hard to get it so I'm glad I have it. I love working with it and I'm glad I have this one. So my last set of cards that I would run into a burning building to retrieve is the El Goliath Tarot um, and this is such a <sighs> you, you you pull out this set of cards when you have like wounds that need to be lanced or cleaned or you're in the middle of a crisis and you need some assistance that's when I pull out this set of cards and I pull it Ooh, sorry <laughs> I pull out that set of cards because it's just deeply emotional deeply seated work now I just realized that my camera is all a mess so let's see if we can fix this not know how long I'll have you in this particular perspective, so we'll try to move quickly. But the El Goliath Tarot, again, being one of my favorite, favorite decks to work with, especially when one's going through some emotional stuff. Um, I'm not a big like fan of the guidebook layout, but it's 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 like a wall of words, but it's super insightful. And if I'm if I have the time and I'm committing to a process with these cards then I make a point to read it if I'm just trying to do something on the fly then it's not the deck of cards that I would use um, but if I'm doing something like I have an hour I need some deep medicine I'm going to these cards and they are affronting and they are challenging to work with um, but they're absolutely beautiful hand pencil sketched art that I I can't help but fall in love with so I've, I've received some deeply moving work and power like messages from this work um, so it's like yeah these will never leave my collection I'm so glad I was able to get hold of um, this being the second edition it's such a big improvement on the first edition so I'm, I'm absolutely in love with it I'm absolutely in love with the set and then uh, the last deck of cards I will offer as an honorable mention um, and I'll tell you why here in just a moment So my honorable mention set of cards is the True Black Tarot. This this will probably be next to this one, my mom's deck that she gave me. I would run into burning buildings with this one. Like it would it would it would be like I need these two in my life to make sure that everything is okay. <laughs> and this deck in particular was my first I would say like venture out of mass market into independently published cards and I 
fell in love with the cardstock, with the finish, with the art. Um, I, I fell in love. I mean, the box is starting to kind of like break down over time. You kind of expect that. But it's such a thick cardstock. It's, it's more than like double. Actually, I think it's more than double the size of a standard Rider Waite Smith deck. Um, the cardstock is, is, is dense and you overhand shuffle it. It does have the petal finish, so sometimes it can be a little bit slow to shuffle, but you know it's easy to get once you get the, the rhythm of it. And you can also break it off into to halves to shuffle as well. But I am I'm so enchanted by this artwork just because this one feels like it's directly in its own fantasy land and it has such a play on light and dark. So I, I'm kind of a personal fan when it comes to high contrast, so I... I I absolutely dig it and this deck in particular has a misprint so to me it just makes it feel like it's even a little bit more unique a little bit more special and I'm, I'm just deeply infatuated by the work and by the artwork um, I also use this deck primarily to uh, or nowadays I use it primarily uh, to work with personified deity so uh, me and Anubis <laughs> will work with with this deck if there's ever conversations that I want to have um, with him so yeah, those are my five plus some decks that I absolutely cannot live without. Some of which I would run into burning buildings. Some of them I would, you know, if it could only be one, it would be that one. If it's burning buildings, it would be these. If I have, you no, know, if it's burning and everything's burning down now, it's these. If I have a little time to grab a few more, it'd be <laughs> those. Um, but the rest, as much as I love them and I love you guys, uh, yeah, they would not be included in these. <laughs> so I hope you had some fun um, getting to hear some of my favorite decks and why. And I look forward to hearing what you think. Take care. Mm. Bye. Dance.